Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN. And now back to our sports show and the game of the week. Now in its 25th year, this week, it's the little big game. Mother Load League JV Football. The Argonaut Mustangs take on the Amador Buffaloes at Amador. With your sportscasters, Jim Vinceguerra and Frank Halverson. Lined up here for the uh, opening kickoff, and the uh, Mustangs will be receiving back deep number 30. Do we have a 31? Looks like 33. 33. Joey Eady, along Eady. with, um, I believe that's going to be uh, Fronick, number 28, Lucas Fronick, closest to us to receive. They're the two deep men for Argonaut. Kicking off is number 77, Nicholas Darrow. Darrow. Yeah. Little oh, pooch little kick. In it. And the Mustangs are going to get the ball on the 42-yard line. Excellent field position to start with. Nice little pooch kick. It was caught by uh, number 41, Sean Talon. Talon plays uh, tight end and defensive end for Argonaut. Okay, we'll try to get some names in here on the linemen for uh, the Mustangs coming out. I saw a big number 74. And we don't have a number 74. C.J. Wynn, the quarterback for Argonaut. The give to Fronick. Coming around this left side. He's going to get some positive yardage there. At least five, if maybe six. Let's see where they mark it. We're going to so give him five, second and five. Getting off the bottom of the pile. Looked like number 54, Christian Santinelli for Amador. This is our first JV game, so we'll have to catch up on some numbers and some names here. We'll try to get them to you as quickly as we can. So, Giedi on this side, Fronick on the far side, just to Giedi that time. Same play, other direction, up to the 40 where he's brought down. It'll be third down and a couple. Making the stop is number 53, Owen Iniguas for Owen, the uh, Owen Buffs. played Little League for me on our uh, All-Star District Championship team a couple of years ago. All right. I look at this amateur roster. I've got a couple kids on there that... Uh, Played for me. Cole Murphy, Owen. Third down and two. Straight a give straight ahead. I, Not much there. I don't think he got it, Frank. No, he's short. I mean, they gave him a little forward progress, but not much. Maybe Doug, less than a yard. It's going to be fourth and about one and a half. Doug Smith with the ball that time, so. He just didn't get a good drive out of his stance. It looked like it just stalled right away. No push at all from the line. That's what that play needs when they run that dive play straight ahead. And, and uh, Smith had nowhere to go. Argonaut's going to go for it. Toss this time to Fronick. He's got enough for the first Whoa, down. Oh, he just about broke it out. Oh, it looked like a fumble maybe. Nope. Six. I thought he was down. He's got some kind of leg drive there, Frank. Four or five guys hanging on to him. First down. He kept pushing. They're going to give him forward progress all the way up to the 45-yard line. I want to see Looks like he was stopped. He had the first down initially, but he kept driving. Sweet had the initial tackle there, and then he just drove him over and uh, took about four or five guys to put him down, but it's good enough for a first down on the 45-yard line. Smith lines up a little deeper this time at the tailback position. Going to be tossed to, to Doug. Going around that right side, he got the corner. Looks like he's going to pick up about five yards on the play before he's brought down over there by number 44. It looks like Logan Collins. First quarter of the game of the week is brought to you by All Sierra Roof Company, our community's true full-service roofing company, serving the Sierra Foothills for three generations. Fully licensed and insured for both residential and commercial, All Sierra Roof is going to keep the winner out of your home. All Sierra will also carry a full-service Owens Corning preferred roofing contractor's license, so before winter gets here, give them a call, 223-4496. Remember, the right roof starts with the right contractor, All Sierra Roof in Jackson. Straight ahead to Smith, tackled right away at the line of scrimmage. Nice drop by the center of that line. Looks like number 69, I think, was the first one there. One of the captains, Todd Sweet, on the tackle. 
Nice play, nice penetration. He just filled the gap and met Smith right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Maybe they got him about a half a yard, but not much there. So it'll be third down and a long four. A counter play inside yeah. to Fronick. He didn't get the first down, close to it, but let's see his forward progress. Frank, you've been following the JV team quite a bit this year. Do they pass at all? No, very, okay. very little. Uh, number 44 on the tackle. Typical, they, they run the same offense as, as the varsity does. You'll see the varsity throw the ball a little bit more, but you won't see the JVs put the ball in the air too much. Yeah, occasionally, occasionally they'll release a tight end and just a little pop pass over the middle, but... Uh, but not too much. Okay, fourth and one right here. The ball on the 36-yard line. They're packed up tight. Smith right behind. And toss this time to Geedy. Geedy. He got it. Falls over the line for the first down. It's going to be enough to move the chains. Looks like number 34, Dustin Littlefield, in on the tackle. But geedy has got enough for the first down, falling forward there to about the... 34-yard line. I think there's a couple of little fields playing. Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, Are they twins? Dylan, Dylan and Dustin. Well, I, do, could, I do not know. Probably it, could be D&D. &D. could be twins. Um, I do not know. I'm looking here. One's a sophomore, one's a freshman. No, they're both a sophomore. Okay. 28. Fronic. The ball. Tackle just short of the 30-yard line. Looks like first one to make contact there was Christian Santinelli. Santinelli. With 444 in the first quarter, if you're just joining us, no score. It's the little big game, the 2012 edition. Tip the ball just resting on the 30-yard line. Gidi right side, nailed from behind by, check that number. That was 34, 34, Dustin Littlefield. He did a nice job. He just, when he saw, when the tackle blocked down, Littlefield just ran right down the line and was able to catch the uh, uh, running back, Gidi, from the back for very little gain. So, uh, third and five right now. Third and five, and... Uh, We've got a peanut gallery down here, Frank, to our right. I don't know. They're telling us what yard line it's on and everything. He has his duty pay, you know, coming help, over here. Open this out. <laughs> Fronick coming in motion. A toss to Smith. Nice Following move to the Following the blockers. Outside. Oh, he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to set up the third, fourth down of this drive, Jim. Dylan Littlefield with a stop there. But, yeah, third, third, fourth down try for the Mustangs here. Argonaut able to convert the first two fourth downs. They've all been short. This one's a little bit longer. Looks like about fourth and two. Needing to get to the 24-yard line for the first down. Now, who calls the offensive plays for the JV team? I believe it's Coach Floyd. Okay. Head coach. Fronick's got it. First down. Then some. Yep. Leaps forward. It's down to about the 21-yard line. But Argonaut continues to move the chains, and the clock continues to tick down to 250 here in the first quarter. And you were saying previous tonight's game, Frank, they brought up Jay, uh, the, the freshman team. Yeah, all the freshmen are up. That's why you see so many players on the sideline over there. The freshman schedule was over a couple weeks ago. There are several teams in the league that do not have freshman programs like Amador. They just have a JV program. Okay, Giedi, right side, cuts back up. Oh, he slipped a little left. bit. You know, he came out, Smith gave him a, or uh, it looked like Connor Otto was pulling on that. He looked, had a pretty good little kick out block. And Gini tried to cut it back inside, and he just lost his footing a little bit. Okay, gain of one makes a second and nine. So anyway, yeah, they did uh, uh, they did bring up uh, uh, the freshman squad, so they're on the sidelines to get a little uh, 
big little big game experience, if you will. Good opportunity for those kids. Oh, well, oh there's, there's a win. pass wide open. He got it. 41, still on his feet, down that, inside the four. That's Sean Talon. Talon. It'll be first and goal. Talon was wide open, and Wynn delivered a strike right on his numbers. And so a nice, impressive drive for Argonaut to open up this game. The ball's inside the five-yard line where it'll be first and goal. And the clock continues to run. <laughs> we have yet to see the Amador offense. Yeah, almost a, a minute fifteen Full quarter left. just about, yeah. Giddy falls forward right to the goal line. On, touchdown. Yeah, touchdown, they, they gave called it to him. It. Fell into the end zone for the TD. So Giddy with the first score of the game with a 107 left in the first quarter. Well, that's a nice way to start. Ate up almost the entire first quarter with only a minute and seven seconds left. Four first downs on the drive. They just kept moving the chains, moving the chains, moving the chains. Four first downs on fourth down tries. <laughs> well, yeah. the, the the last one well, I believe was on a third yeah. down, but on the pass. But but yeah, converted three fourth downs on the drive to keep the chains moving, and now they're going to go for two. Now, one, I, I'm a little surprised at this, actually, because one freshman they brought up, they brought him up several weeks ago, Gio Casillas, one heck of a kicker. We're going to get a flag. Yep, it looked like Smith jumped. Movement. And it's against the Mustangs. So they're going to march her back here and try it again. A little bit uh, longer. Here comes, here comes Casillas. It looks, oh, he started in. Looked like they were going to kick. He's Trying to find his pad. There nope, it he's is. He's looking for the tee. Yeah, they're yep. going to kick it now with the penalty. Here he comes. I'll, t I'll tell you a little story about him. We were down in Riverbank, I believe, or no, Houston it was. Two seconds left on the clock, right? Yeah. Freshman. 30 yard field goal to win the game. <laughs> Plenty of leg, just pulled it a little bit left, but he's got a boot on him. Okay, we'll see right here what happens. Up and. It's good. Good. So the two points are on the board, makes it eight nothing right now, and Seven. the uh, that's only one kick oh, one, Jim. That's right. <laughs> I'm screwed up from the penalty here. Seven zip, and we're going to be uh, coming up with Amateur's offense, seeing them for the first time this year. Yeah, have not seen uh, um, Amateur play yet, so we'll have to figure out who's where. Jackson Tire Service, your tire headquarters since 1973. Technology is constantly updated, and Goodyear tires reflect the cutting edge in the industry. Drive with assurance on Triple Tread, Comfort Tread, and Fuel Max tires. With two locations to serve you, the community-minded Bavero family and staff invite you to the Jackson Tire in Jackson, and Jackson Tire also in Pine Grove. For all your tire brake muffler and wheel alignment needs, Goodyear brand name tires and the highest quality service. See the great folks at Jackson Tire Service in Jackson and Pine Grove. Well, back deep for Amador, looks like Robert Hahn, number two, as well as uh, number 12, is it Cameron Bennett? Looks like 12. So Hahn is a freshman, Bennett a sophomore. Okay, so Gio Casillas with the kick here. Officials are down there talking about something with the amateur coaches. I'm not sure what the discussion is, but uh, I think they're trying to figure out where they. We don't have our uh, sideline uh, uh, microphone on on I this can, game, so I we're can not able read to read their lips. They they were saying <laughs> is is the steakhouse downtown open after the game? All right, here we go. Casillas getting ready to kick off. For the Mustangs. Squip kick. Oh, it did it touch a guy. And it touched that guy for sure. This is number 12. He's Boy. Got, he's got a line set up there, Frank. Oh. oh, what a, what a, let me get that number. 40, 41. Cameron Bennett went all the way back to pick that, that was squib kick up, and boy, he was weaving and bucking and trying to find a way through there, and but finally there was nowhere into, to go. He ran into Talon. 
Talon's not afraid to put a hat on you. No, he, uh, you he put a hit on him. So Grunwald looks like Jacob Grunwald is a quarterback. Now, there's a freshman Grunwald over at Argonaut in my son's class. Of, uh, okay, we'll see what happens so here. I wonder if that's uh, the same family. All right, the ball on the 32. 23 on the carry. That looks like Madras. Matthew Madras. And uh, he's coming out of the game. We got a little field that went in, I think. Yeah, yeah. 53 is a tackle here on this side. That's uh, an equiz. Boy, good, good penetration there by the defense. Nice hit by 20. Argonaut. For first one in on the plate, looks like 41. I think that was Talon again who made first contact. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score seven nothing in favor of the Mustangs. Second quarter, uh, first quarter was brought to you by All Sierra Roof, our community's true full service roofing company, serving the Sierra foothills for three generations, fully licensed and insured for both residential and commercial. All Sierra Roof is going to keep the winner out of your home. Also, a full service Owens Corning preferred roofing contractor. So before winter gets here, give them a call at two two three four four nine six. And remember, the right roof starts with the right contractor. All Sierra Roof in Jackson. Stay Stay tuned, second quarter coming right at you. Bye. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.